What is up, y'all? We're back with some more pro wrestling talk. A couple quick topics and updates to get into real quick, man. But you see this footage rolling here from Mania, man. The Usos. Uso. <laughs> it's always wild, man, when the Uso music drops. You heard? But um, Jimmy Uso here, if you read his lips very closely, you look at the footage. I don't know if you guys have saw this trending around social media social network he's telling his daughter in a crowd get the f off your phone young lady your pops is having a match of his career right now and that's what i've been seeing everywhere that this was i mean it's common sense really you know the usos going head to head at wrestlemania the feud everywhere they've been from tag team champions a million times over and the bloodline and the breakup and just everything this was it you know this was their moment and his daughter's in the crowd flocking around on her phone i mean maybe she was nah i was gonna say maybe she was getting some footage of her pops match for her instagram story or some kind of edit she was gonna put together but then she would have been recording and looking at him he wouldn't have been like get off your phone right or maybe i don't know i mean it's just a. Uh, Yo, that's what's so crazy. A picture's worth a thousand words. Um, some footage is worth a million. But it leads me to believe she was messing around on her phone. And at the moment, maybe the crowd was popping. She happened to look up at her dad. So she had been messing on, around on her phone and then looked up and he was like, get off your phone. I don't know. It's just so crazy nowadays, man. The way social network, this blogosphere era is what I like to call it, man. It's a whole new world, a whole new time we're living in. It's been this way for a while, but it's really, really this way now. And it's just so different than the way that I grew up. I, I often talk about that, how nowadays times are so different from social network, like from someone that grew up prior to this. And then saw this happen. We we saw it happen um, in, you know, little in a process. Like first there was just Facebook and people were doing this. Then it got to this. Then there were smartphones, but not everyone had them. Like, you know what I mean? It, it, it didn't just all happen all at once. But someone in that time frame versus someone who just grew up and this was the way it always was it's just two different worlds two different realities i don't even want to sound blasphemous when i say this but like how bc ad like time periods it's like almost like that in a sense things have changed so much that you can know a lot like down the road people will look back and say oh yeah well this cat they're like that because they grew up after the blogosphere hit you know it's like two different worlds two different kinds of people the impact that this has has had on our society in a sense you know but um yeah just wanted to share that clip that was pretty funny to me Then that's a, a great throwback there that uh, got reshared recently, man. Uh, Booker T, when the whole WWE NWO storyline was hitting. And what does everyone think out there about the NWO and WWE? Was it underwhelming? Were they better off leaving it alone? I mean, listen, you know when Vince bought WCW and just owned the catalog, the intellectual property, everything that came with it, of course... He had to do something with the NWO. I mean, that was what changed the game, changed the atmosphere, uh, the landscape of professional wrestling forever when the Monday Night Wars happened. That's what did WWE in and had WCW take over. And it's still so crazy to think that WCW blew that. You know, they had it like that, man. They took over pro wrestling. It was theirs for the taken forever if they really wanted to i think but they didn't know how to properly use that storyline and that's why whenever there's stables good storylines you always got to know when the payoff is righteous when is the final payoff 
like maybe you can come back to a stable, have a second incarnation of it down the road, but you can't fluck it up. And with that being said, what where does everyone think? What does everyone think about where the bloodline stable is now post Cody winning the title post mania? And we just got to say, too, this is a good show of how all WCW guys got buried. I did a, a video, probably the only other video on this channel that has any damn views about Sting's retirement and how good for Sting that he didn't retire after that botched BS WWE run. It, like, it was so bad the way they did him. And he was always very leery of coming to WWE because he's seen what happened to the WCW guys that went to WWE and he was the heart and soul of WCW and he was going up against Vince all them years he was a guy that firsthand knew about all this and it took that's why it took him so long he'd rather go to Impact than go to WWE because he didn't want the legacy the, the, the amazing iconic character of the icon Sting to be did dirty and this isn't a good example of that because booker t yeah he had some title reigns and all that in wwe but he had to go through all this being made into a a fool like don't get me wrong this is a great clip it's funny and all that but um booker t like amazing wrestler one of the best in the business in so many ways and they did this to him they did those racist ass storylines with triple h that was terrible and to make it even worse, he didn't win the strap after all that. Like, it was bad, period. But I'm just saying it would have been a little tinge not as bad if he would have won the title. They had him do all that and then lose at WrestleMania to Triple H. Like, are you kidding me? But this is just kind of like more early on some of the stuff that they had Booker do. He had to really pay the price with Vince and get buried and get misbooked in a lot of ways before he could shine a really whole real goal. Let me know if you agree or not. What the was that outfit? Why exactly skull, take the skull mask off of the ramp and then walk to the ring? But it's, you know, it's little tiny things like Roman powerbomb Cody and then Roman kind of fell back as he did, it just kind of fell towards the, his, the corner. And um, Roman was the one that gave the impact, like the last impact. And Cody was moving before Roman was. And I'm thinking to myself, like, you should not be moving before he does. And on top of that, like, that if you lay there exactly. and you put your ear on the Mad. Skull, take the skull mask. You can off. feel the vibration of the, like the other guy moving. And you know when he's moving. Ring. And there's no it's, reason it's, for you to know, like, move your head to have to start like, to look. Roman That's you gotta be in Cody. tune with what's going on out there. And then I would have gotten kind of felt absolute back. color on Cody. He did it just kind of fell towards the his the man. Cody doesn't get color. And um when it was Roman bloodline was rules, I thought for sure, man, that like the last I think this impact. story should be done by now. Cody was moving yeah. before I, it's just, Roman was. Man, it's just, I know it's, maybe it's just and me, I'm but I just never like, get the brothers be fighting. Be moving before he yeah, does. I fought with my brother. Yeah, like, on we, top of that, you have like a 15 second, throw, throw a couple of punches the you know, in the garage at each other, you're done. It's not a vibration It's not a other guy moving. Why don't they all come down and and Eat him up and no hold him up. For you. Yeah. Why does a solo hold his arms? That's, and you got to be in tune with what's going on out there. I would have got absolute color on Cody. You only got to worry about his shoulders. It's mania, man. Because you were Cody standing when they kicked color. out. It's three when they seconds. Went, Put the boots to him again. Rules, Keep sure, doing man. that. And he stood by the race. The room. Right and put Roman back on him again. Yeah. And I, it's just... Man, it's, it's you just, know, I know it's, maybe it's hey, I got me, your back. I just never get the brothers. Oh, I'm gonna throw two punches. Yeah, After I that, you're on your own. Brother, like I thought you had my back. No, yeah, I'm like, gonna throw two well, punches. Fifteen seconds. I'm drunk. Throw I'm drunk. I take the wheel. I hit the telephone pole. You don't have a seatbelt on. I leave. It's it's not a. I leave you in the car. Didn't work. What the? 
Was that? Why is it man, so and how about that, arms? man? Kevin Nash going viral. Very critical of Cody Rhodes is selling the skeleton costume. What did you guys think about the skeleton costume? It reminded me a bit of Mortis from WCW. Remember you Mortis? Canyon? It's free for I just thought of something that's probably good for a whole nother Keep video. Doing that, he stood by the RIP race. Canyon, the man. But, um, yeah, did that not make sense? Was it a bit it's foolish you. that yeah, he got, got power back. bombed by Roman Reigns? Oh, and um, after that, you're on your own. he got up first before the guy no, doing the power rent bomb, sound wise. And uh, some of the other the stuff he was saying about the bloodline. Interfering but not doing them in all the way. I mean, sometimes, like with pro wrestling, sometimes it's like you can't pick too far at some of this stuff. You know what I mean? Like, because, like, if you really want to, you could say, well, there would be no interference in pro wrestling if they would just get uh, instant replay. But of course, that would shit on everything that's a part of wrestling and stuff. You know what I mean? So you can only go far so far when it comes to the kayfabe of looking at it through realistic lenses but at the same time you want things to be to make sense and be realistic in a way you know what i mean so with all that being said what do you guys think about what he was saying about cody and cody as champ and all that let's talk about it all in the comments subscribe and stay tuned for more pro wrestling talk i'm out of here